making an application a TCP slash IP client with sample code. Connecting to a TCP slash IP server from a Delphi client This article is a continuation of my previous article, http colon slash slash www.howtodothings.com slash show article dot asp question mark article equal sign 218 intended to demonstrate how we can use the t client socket component in Delphi as a TCP slash IP client against any TCP slash IP server. The server could be written in Delphi using t server socket component or any piece of code that acts as a TCP slash IP server. In my case, I'm interacting with a Java code acts as a TCP slash IP server. In my project, I'm just sending a bunch of bytes to that Java server and the Java server reads the bytes and doing some tasks sending a different bunch of bytes as response to the Delphi client. In my last article, http colon slash slash www.delphi3000.com slash article dot asp question mark id equal sign 1695. I explain the problem I faced and a solution I found for that. In this article, let me give some sample code I used in that project since some people asked me to send the source code for the socket communication by sending separate emails. I appreciate them for their interest. Here you go. Enjoy. My project uses nearly nine forms and all the forms need to interact with the Java server at least once. So I added a data module and put a T client socket component there. The following is the code for that. Unit data mod. Interface uses Windows. Messages. SYS utils, classes, graphics, controls, forms, dialogues, SCKT comp, Olsever, type TDM data module equals class, T data module, CS client socket, T client socket, Procedure CS Client Socket Error Sender T Object Socket T Custom Win Socket Error Event Terror Event VAR Error Code Integer Procedure CS Client Socket Read Sender T Object Socket T custom win socket procedure data module destroy sender T object private private declarations public F waiting boolean public declarations and var DM data module TDM data module Implementation $R star dot DFM procedure TDM data module dot CS client socket read sender T object socket T custom win socket slash slash reading data back from server through socket var buffer 
array 04095 of char bytes received integer memory stream t memory stream begin while f waiting do begin memory stream equals t memory stream dot create try slash slash this time delay depends on the network traffic and also you can put the time delay between read slash slash i've just put some 200 milliseconds for my application before it starts reading from the server sleep 200 while true do begin bytes received equals socket dot receive buff buffer size of buffer if bytes received break else begin memory stream dot write buffer bytes received and and f waiting equals false memory stream dot position equals zero Slash slash XML response is a global string list I'm using in my application to convert the bytes received into string slash slash you can use other ways to get the contents of a memory stream XML response dot load from stream memory stream finally memory stream dot free and 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 procedure tdm data module dot cs client socket error sender t object socket t custom win socket error event terror event var error code integer Whenever you get a specific type of error while running the client you will be given a message showing that the error has occurred. At that time you have to check whether the server is running correctly or not and if needed make the server run properly and then say OK. Then CS client socket dot open will try to reconnect to the server. So at this time if some transaction is in the middle you have to send the same stuff again after reconnecting begin case error event of EE general. Begin if message DLG. Error connecting to Java server plus number 13 plus check the server status and try again mt information mb ok 0 equals mr ok then cs client socket dot open and ee connect begin if message dlg error connecting to java server plus number 13 plus check the server status and try again mt information mb ok 0 equals mr ok then cs client socket dot open and ee send begin if message dlg error connecting to java server plus number 13 plus check the server status and try again mt information mb ok 0 equals mr ok then cs client socket dot open and ee receive begin if message dlg error connecting to java server plus number 13 plus check the server status and try again mt information mb ok 0 equals mr ok then cs client socket dot open and ee accept begin if message dlg 
error connecting to Java server. Plus number 13 plus check the server status and try again. MT information MBOK0 equals MROK then CS client socket dot open end and and procedure TDM data module dot data module destroy sender T object begin slash slash closing the socket connection CS client socket dot close and and once you are done with the data module you can include this data module in units wherever you need to interact with the server thereby you can avoid writing code to read data back from the server in various places of the project. You can set the host slash address and port number of the server to communicate at runtime through the runtime parameters, I assume Delphi people aware of that runtime parameters, then in the project's main forms form create event, write the following code to connect to the server. I.e setting the IP address and port number of the server in the T client socket component and set active to true. Slash slash connecting to the Java server on a particular port try with DM data module dot CS client socket do begin if active then active equals false slash slash getting the address or host name of the server through the runtime parameters host equals param str one slash slash getting the port number of the server at which the server listens through the runtime parameters port equals str to int param str 2 slash slash making the connection active active equals true and except on e socket error do begin message dlg unable to connect to java server plus number 13 plus please try again mt information mbok0 exit and and once you are connected to the server you can use either the t client socket send text or send stream method to send the data to the server. For example, procedure send begin slash slash checking whether the socket connection is ready or not slash slash if not. The error handling part of the T client socket will be activated if CS client socket dot active then begin slash slash sending the text through the socket connection CS client socket dot socket dot send text the string to send slash slash setting a flag to wait until the server sends the response back dm data module dot f waiting equals true while dm data module dot f waiting then application dot process messages and and enjoy thanks mongesh